Now to the fallout from illegal car meetups on Long Island last weekend. It's an issue we've been covering for years. Drivers taking over busy intersections, doing dangerous stunts. Well, now officials say more arrests are on the way. Carolyn Gussoff covers the island and reports new penalties are also being proposed. They're terrorizing the communities. A night of what officials call coordinated chaos, and now a flurry of changes. State and Suffolk County lawmakers are drafting stiffer penalties after drivers took over busy intersections in the wee hours of Sunday morning. Spinning around recklessly with a disregard for human life. County officials have created a task force of investigators who cracked the Gilgo murders to now crack down on illegal car meetups. In Patchogue, a spectator was hit, her pelvis broken. In Miller Place, an ambulance with a patient in cardiac arrest was blocked for 15 minutes, prompting state legislators to draft a new law to make this kind of reckless driving a felony. And if an emergency vehicle is blocked, to have the ability to seize the vehicle and really have a heavy hand. It's a problem we've been covering for years. In 2022, Suffolk Police said they'd be impounding cars at meetups. 111 were seized last year, but officials say this needs to be classified as a felony across the state. State law and county law need a tune-up to address this problem. To seize these vehicles from these criminals, from these fast and furious wannabes. Officials say despite drivers removing license plates, they are identifiable. Do we know who they are? Absolutely. Why? Technology is great. We went to our red light cameras. We have already seized one vehicle, apprehended two people, more arrests are planned. On the county level, fines already were increased in 2022 and 23. Officials now say they clearly need to be even higher. In Miller Place, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS News, New York.